All right, how's it going guys? I decided to track my calorie consumption and I know there are mobile apps that does that for me. So I decided to try it by downloading from the app stores and I found out most of them are not free. So I just decided to just build my own by myself with Cloud Code and Scuppy. Okay, so this is the final version of my calorie counter. Once you log in, you go into this uh, dashboard and here you see that it's estimated for me the calories consumption of each meals and here it also tells me how much calorie i consume per day so let's try to uh just upload new meal i have some food photos i'll just upload some photo that i already have so i'm going to upload the russian poncho cake mm, okay it uploaded the photo and it tells me estimated 450 calories it's using the open ai api for estimating the calories of the food photos all right let's try to build this from scratch let's create a new service and i'm going to name this calorie counter create the service and once the service is created, you'll see the getting started page. And once you're here, we have created a backend infrastructure for our calorie counting application. And remember that I said I was using the OpenAI's API for uh, this AI thing. So what we need to do, we need to go to OpenAI API key page. Once you're in the page, you can create a new secret key. With that secret key, you have to create a client secret key in your service. I'll just name this uh, client secret key name Galo, and I will paste my client secret key and toggle the lock feature on. So this means that only the uh, people who are logged in has an account and logged into your application can use this API key. I'll save this. And I have created client secret key inside my service. And next thing we should do is now we should create a project folder. I'll create a folder in my documents folder. I'll name this calorie count. And inside that project folder, we need to download these. Uh, here you see for AI driven development. So these are these markdown file. It's a pre-written prompts. So download these files and put these files into your project folder. And remember, uh, you need to re uh, rename the system.md. If you're using uh, OpenAI Codex, you have to rename them as agent.md, but I'm using cloud code. So I'm going to rename this into cloud.md. All right, everything's ready now. So now we have to write a prompt, okay? I have pre-written my prompt here. We need to paste that Scuppy service ID and we need to paste that service owner's ID. Copy this prompt and open up your terminal. Navigate to your project folder and execute Claude. Okay, if you haven't installed Cloud Code, you should obviously there you go we have cloud code running in our project paste that prompts that we have wrote and then type enter yep it's working it's doing its job it will take some time so we're just gonna sit back and just wait for it to be finished Okay, it's asking me something. I'll just do login required because it's more fancy and, and more secure. So we'll do that and it will proceed. Okay. Now it will ask us, do you want to create index.html? Uh, of course, I will choose yes and allow all edits during this session. I think it's finished. It says your app is ready. I think we're good. So let's open up the index.html and see if it works. All right, uh, it looks good. Um, let's sign up. Okay, once we sign up, it, it locks me in automatically. 
let's see if it works click on upload I'm gonna upload some yep Russian pancho cake let's uh, click on analyze calories oh we got an error so currently the cloud code has limitation on reading the context of the full API documentation so you will have to keep going back and forth to solve this errors along the way but uh, you just need to just open up the dev console and just copy these error messages that you see in the console and if you just paste it into your prompts the cloud code will figure out what to do okay it's doing stuff I guess it's fixing something okay it says try uploading a meal photo again it should work now okay let's try again so here I'm just gonna refresh the page and let's try again Pancho oh yeah it works uh, meal estimated 350 calories that's cool but wait a minute we have another bug the pictures is not showing and we are also seeing some error message in the console so this time I'll just I'm going to just screenshot this whole uh, uh, screen and give it to cloud code here I, I have my screenshot image and I'm just going to drag this over to the terminal okay to the prompts I can drag the image to the prompts and hit enter and it will actually see what's going on in the image and the cloud code will try to solve the problem okay let's refresh the page oh there it is yep it shows my picture of my cake and it shows the calorie which is 350 calories uh, Pancho. Let's try another one. I'll try to upload some other food. Uh, this time I'll upload this, which is a Tom Yam. Upload, analyze calories, and yep, it says 300 calories and it's uploaded. So it works. Yeah, so I just built my own calorie counter in in within like 15 minutes, I guess, using cloud code and Scapia's backend. I'll leave the link below. I have hosted this my version of calorie counter so you could anybody can come in and just use it for free and also you could build it your own for fun. That's it for today. I hope it was interesting. If it helped, please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.